Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen man, this video today is just about as much as the quality of this car is, which you are going to see and go, wow, that is a really nice car, as much as it is about style. Think about this, this is 2013, this car is over 50 years old, right? Okay, and look at it, it is so freaking cool, man. It has so many cool features and touches about it. Let's spend a few minutes, we'll walk around and check out the styling. This was at the top of its game and it was very expensive for its time. And this one here was the most expensive uh, that you could get in this model in the Fleetwood. It has virtually every option that you could get from the factory and it is loaded. So, all right, so let's start up here. I like to go this here, come check this out. This paint here is a little nicer than the factory probably would have painted it, all right? But it is called San Remo Turquoise, and it just has a cool name to start with. So what color is your Cadillac? Oh, San Remo Turquoise. Thank you so much. Anyway, the quality of it is great. You can read everything in there, all right? And then you talk about the detail and effort it takes to get good chrome on a car. Now keep in mind, a lot of these parts that are on this car are what we call made of unobtainium. They're made of unobtainium because there aren't any more about these. There aren't enough of these cars for somebody to reproduce the parts that you need to restore it. So you need to have a good car to start with if you're gonna do the restoration. And that's exactly what we had here. So all the bumpers have been re-chromed, okay? Headlight trim rings are re-chromed. You got uh, wide whites on there, but we have radials on there. So listen, if you're taking this to a show and you wanna get judged, you're probably gonna have to take the radials off and put the bias ply tires back on. But I put radials on the car because I know it just drives so much better with them on them, and you can really uh, enjoy the car that way, all right? But look at down the car uh, for the style, yes, but the fit and finish I want to talk about. I want to talk about how everything just seems to line up nicely, even the, look, the door locks work. I mean, like everything. Everything just works so nicely. The fender skirts can come off if you'd like a different look. It changes the look of the car. It gives it just a taller body line in there. So you get two totally different cars, all right? And then you got things like this right here with the Fleetwood call out for the Cadillac. Huh? How do you like that? So we're still part of the jet age at this time, right? So if you look at the car, you got the intakes here, the intakes in the front end. You have the turbine look of the jet engines, all right? Then we have the body sweeping out here. We got the wings and fins. The fins here are just uh, such a great styling feature. And then we have things like, if you look at this, it almost mimics the tail section of today's modern jet. And there's the exhaust coming out. I love this lens right in here. This is so cool, man. Check this thing out, it's just bad, bad, bad. I could walk around this car for hours. Gas cap hidden inside here. There's just a couple of water spots on here that uh, when we wash the car. This is a great car, man, it's a great car. You talk about a cool car to go in, not to mention when we open the hood, we'll see some of the luxury stuff that you wouldn't even know to ask about. All right, let's go check that out. All right, let's check this out. All right, let's look at the detail here for a second, all right? In here, this is a beautifully restored car. Not only that, it is beautifully optioned, and there are things in here that uh, are very, very expensive to reproduce, so to have them in here already is great. A working air conditioning system. Not only does this car have power windows, it has air conditioning. It has power brakes. It has power steering, okay? It just has all the things, including like the wiper washer canister and Oh, the fittings, it has dual horns. And you say, well, what's the big deal about dual horns? Every car has dual horns. No, not every car does have dual horns. Most cars, the horns never even work. When they get here, I gotta wire up all the horns. That could take me two, three, even four hours just to get the horns working. You have no idea the amount of money it goes to get these cars to this level so that they can function on a daily basis. I'm gonna tell you this, I know it sounds crazy, but theoretically, this could be a daily driver if you wanted to, and you could not buy a daily driver with this much style in this price range in your lifetime, no way. Painted satin black under the hood like it's supposed to. It's got the insulation in here. The blower system's all detailed. The hoses and everything are done. Another option in here, cruise control, okay? Cruise control, can you imagine a car in 1961, how much cruise control must have cost in relation to the sticker price of the car? Because it's in its infancy and it's just uh, amazing that's even in there. The detail in her ear is awesome. You could go to a car show if you wanted to. You could not go to a car show if you wanted to. If you just want to open this in your garage and have some friends come over uh, and guys get some chairs and look at this thing for a while because you know what? It will take you years to run out of the details looking at this car and all the cool stuff that you'll find along the way. The latch is painted a different color than here. It's not spray bombed black everywhere. You know what I mean? It's just not uh, one of those what we call aerosol overhauls. There's a lot of detail that's gone into all this. 
All right, so let's check out some of this in here. This is really cool. So, uh, I always like a car that comes with a car cover. This car came with a car cover, and one of the nice things about it is the reason I like it so much is it means that not only was this car garage kept, right? But they thought enough about it to throw a car cover on top of garage keeping it. Also, what we have right here is the original sound system. Beautifully restored, and it weighs a good, I want to say 10 pounds. This is pretty cool. We have an upgraded sound system in the car, um, and it works beautifully. If you want to do this and put us have put that in the glove box or something like that, we can do that as well. But uh, this right here comes with it, and the trunk is beautifully detailed, okay, including the spare tire, okay, the cover, the jack, all that stuff, all detailed. Look at this, jacking instructions right here, weather stripping, all of these uh, insulation pieces inside the trunk. I'm telling you, man, this car has had so much money spent on it, probably twice the amount uh, that you would have to pay for it, and it's ready to go today. You don't have to wait two, three, four years if you can even find somebody to start on it tomorrow. All right, so listen, man, this is what these cars are known for, okay? But I want you to see some stuff back here. There's also some style stuff. First off, the fabric is spectacular. It reminds you so much of your grandmother's couch where she'd cover it with the plastic because she didn't want you to sit on her new couch and get the, the uh, fabric all messed up. But this is in an exceptional shape. It's got these gorgeous comb, uh, chrome uh, handles in here. But keep in mind, this is the kind of stuff that makes a Cadillac a Cadillac and not a Chevy or a Ford, where the seat is stepped a couple times. Uh, there's fabric from here on the back of the seat, not just carpet, okay, or vinyl. S fabric sewn into the store with a uh, door with contrast stitching. And the way this is cut out like this, these grab handles, there's just the little touches that make uh, a car like this just fabulous. And then the headliner is cool, especially the way it's sewn in each place. I don't know. I'm rambling, but the only reason I'm rambling is because I wanted to show you this. Check that out. How cool is that, huh? We're talking about eight power windows in this car, eight of them, and they all are just, just, I don't know. So cool, so cool. Okay, let's jump up front here. Check this out, okay. I get so excited about these cars, I don't know why, but I just do because for me, the style is just ridiculous. All right, so this is kind of cool, 61 Cadillac owner's manual. I'll put that right there for right now, all right. All right, so this is the upgraded sound system we talked about. We have the original one in the trunk, all right? It's a digital unit, so uh, it has uh, AM, FM, uh, a couple other nice features about it, and you can also add an iPod to it uh, that uh, plugs right in the back, so that's uh, an easy addition. Just ask us to do that. This is kind of cool right here. This actually dims the headlights uh, when it sees other headlights coming towards you. Circa 1961, if somebody had their headlights coming towards you and you had your high beams on, this would automatically dim your headlights and that's explained inside uh, the owner's manual on how that works and how to set it up. It's actually very easy to do, okay? Check out the chrome steering wheel. The dash is beautifully laid out. I mean, all the switches are nice. This is not a, this is, listen, I don't wanna bust Chevy or, or Ford's uh, designs, but in this case here, this dash is really very, very nicely done. All the trim and the way everything sweeps across here. The pedal dress up, okay? Then the mirror right here, fully adjustable. Not only is the mirror adjustable, but the whole arm is adjustable as well as uh, just the glass. Okay, like check that out. That's really cool. All right, it's right here. This is the cruise control. Okay, how cool is this car, man? Sorry, I get so excited about it. Just great style. All right, anyway, let me start up for you because with the big 390 cubic inch V8, these cars not only were uh, comfortable to drive in, they were very powerful. And with all the accoutrements on this car, you're gonna want good power. Now, one other thing too, the transmissions were a little ahead of their time. Most of the cars had two-speed automatics back then. This car has a three-speed automatic. You know, part of the style of this car is it just keeps going and going and going. Like, you throw down the window, okay, cool, it has power windows, that's awesome but most cars have an A pillar, a B pillar, and a C pillar, and to get rid of the B pillar, you have to really strengthen the body of the car, and that's what they did here, so that when you drop this window, look how cool that looks, man. This is style. Listen, if you're sitting there watching this car with somebody looking for their approval and they're on the fence about it, maybe we should get them into a class for style. I don't mind signing them up. Maybe I'll go with them, we'll check it out at the college or whatever, 
But when you see little stuff like this, that still uh, just is amazing. This is a 50 year old car, 50 year old car. How cool is this stuff, man? And the fact that it's just loaded with features and options. I don't know, I get so excited about this. Listen, man, I love an Aston Martin, a 2014 Aston Martin, okay? Great car. This car right here, run the Aston down the street and run this down the street and look how many people give you this for this car versus the other and that's why because this car has style all right also this check this out power seat how cool it goes up and down and all that good stuff there i don't know just an awesome car as we close up this video you know this is more of a style session than it is a car video you look around this thing with the egg crate grill and the awesome fabric inside on the seats the eight power windows, the air conditioning, the power brakes, the power steering for the luxury accoutrement part of the car. So you throw in the styling, all the luxury features, not to mention a beautiful restoration. And you have what I feel is one of those iconic cars that will continue to rise in value. This is a great car to take the family out, another, couple's, uh, another couple couples with you, whatever, because it seats six comfortably and it just drives down the road so nicely. Uh, and you'll see at the, in the video how good it looks uh, from the outside when you're driving it. All right, anyway, if you can find a way to get this 61 Cadillac Fleetwood 60 Special, call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.